Hey, welcome YouTubers, welcome to the channel, Mr. Reef Buster, and on the episode 8 of the Project Nano Reef. Um, today I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how the Nano Lagoon Tank has been doing since uh, episode 7. Uh, for those of you that did watch episode 7, I did mention that I would have to address um, the algae issue that's going on in this tank, and... Um, I was going to do uh, scrub the algae out and do a major water change to remove those algae from the system. Um, and so the reason I'm making the video today, as you can see, the algae are still on uh, in the tank. They're on the rock work still. Uh, now, I'm going to show you um, the water change that I did and how I, I would remove some of the algae. But majority of them is still on the rock and I'll tell you why they're still on it. Um, so when I went to do the water change and you know start scrubbing out the algae um, from outside it looked like there were hair algae, uh, regular hair algae so I thought I'd be, I would be able to just scrub it out and siphon it out as part of the water change but when I actually got to um, doing the scrubbing and start to realize that it's not really a re your regular hair algae these are actually turf algae so the difference between regular hair algae and turf algae is uh, hair algae is, is just you know your hair algae but they're not as strong they don't stay on the rock as hard as turf algae do uh, hair algae you can use a strong brush and you can brush it off uh, easily but when it comes to turf algae they're like really strong bonded algae that spreads on your rock which is what I have apparently which I realized when I went to do the water change so so you know using a regular brush or anything to scrub it off it would it's really not possible uh, only way to remove it is if you were to pick at it you have to use get, get in there with your hands and just pinch out all the turf algae from the rock substrate um, now if you have a little bit it's easily done but in my case since it's all over my tank it would be a pin striking process for me to remove every single piece of turf algae on this tank. So that's why I only removed a little bit as much as I could with the limited time I had. And But now I have to um, think of a different solution to be able to remove this turf algae from my tank. And um, after doing a little bit of research, what I realized what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have to uh, put some type of chemical on this tank and just to... Um, to weaken the algae out so it's easier for me to remove them um, because I don't have the time to sit there for an hour or so just to pinch out every single piece of turf algae on this tank. So what I'm going to be doing is I placed an order from Marine Depot for Continuum Aquatics Bacter Cleaner M. So that uh, liquid actually um, kills off algae cyano and all types of algae uh, when it comes to turf algae uh, the this chemical will actually weaken it uh, and make it really soft so it's, it'll be easier for me to siphon it out without having to do a lot of manual labor so that's what I'm hoping um, I'm gonna be able to do now keep in mind just because you're dosing uh, the you know the Bacter Cleaner M does not mean it'll kill it off, you know, get rid of all your algae. You still have to remove it manually. And the whole dosing process could take anywhere, could take anywhere between a week, couple of weeks to about three, four months. So this will be a long process to remove all the algae from my tank. And I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to show you how bad the algae is affecting my, the tank so far to the point the algae are competing my sun perfusion and my Kato, um, my Kato Morpha and my sun perfusion is starting to die out because um, it's not getting enough nutrients from the water because all the nutrients are being sucked up by the algae in the display tank. So that's what's going on right now. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how the sump is looking. I did a 25% uh, water change on this tank. 
Um, but I'm going to have to keep doing the water changes and I have to be on top of it. I haven't been really on top of my water changes. Um, so I have to be diligent and do a water change every week. Uh, 50%. I'm going to start doing 50% water changes on this tank uh, to get rid of those nutrients out. Even though I have a protein skimmer and a refuge and all that I still have to, um, you know, do my part and be diligent about it so that's what's going on with the tank so far nothing new i haven't added anything because until i take care of this algae problem i am not adding any cor corals on this tank because that's just a lost cause at this point so my main goal is uh, there are a few surviving corals in there my zoanthids some of my zo zoas are still alive they're trying to um out compete in all the algae so i have to i'm going to do my best to keep them safe so they can survive this ordeal um best thing you can do is just scrub off any algae that's around your corals or on it so it doesn't suffocate your corals so they can take in the nutrients and the food and everything and, and the water so that's what i'll be doing just closely monitoring the existing corals i have and just try start you know once the the continuum aquatics um bacter cleaner m arrives i will be start dosing it and hopefully we should see some positive results i'll keep you guys updated um as to how it's going um so let's go ahead and dive down let me show you guys uh, some refugium and what's going on with it So here it is guys, this is the Sumprefugium, um, it looks a little bit cleaner, there's not many wires in front of it, I did uh, take some time out to do some cable management, uh, get, at least get the wires uh, from the front of the Sumprefugium, so I can I can have easy access to all the stuff in it. Um, so as you can see right in the middle, the Kato, let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a better look at it, um, the Kato, if you see clearly, there are it is whitening. Um, to the point um, is dying off, and the reason for that is it's not be it's not able to compete with the algae that's in my uh, display tank right now. So I'm not gonna worry about it. It is part of the is part of nature. It will happen uh, once I get the turf algae uh, under control in my display tank. The Kato will start doing its job. Um, not to worry, I have plenty of Kato from my main 45-gallon tank. So even if this dies out, uh, once I take care of the algae in the display tank, I'm, I can always put back more Kato, and you know, and then it will start doing its job. But that's about it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys how the tank is looking. I want to give you guys an update for those of you who are following the channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, for, for, your, for those of you who are new, um, hit the subscribe button and hit the hit the bell button so you get notification as to when I upload the next video, which is going to be about in about two weeks. Um, and we'll go from there, guys. And thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, leave it in the comment section below and, you know, we'll have a discussion about it. Um, now, before I go, I just w I wanted to ask you guys a question for those of you guys who have faced a situation like this. Um, I found out that one of the ways to um, deal with algae is... To have some type of cleanup crew or fishes that eat algae. Uh, now I know from my experience, tangs are the great option, especially yellow tang, they love algae. But from my, I mean, I have a yellow tang in my 45 gallon tank, and that's pushing it um, because for yellow tang, you, tangs, you need a bigger tank uh, in your at least 90 gallon tank or so to begin with. Now, um, during my research, I found out that tangs are good for, you know, algae control. And also, I heard emerald crabs. I heard they um, help your algae and control as well. Now, I mean, I know emerald crabs uh, like to eat um, the bubble algae. But 
for if you have any if you guys have any knowledge about them also eating turf algae or regular hair algae leave it on the comment section below so i can get an understanding because i i, I wasn't aware that emerald crabs eat turf algae or hair algae i wasn't aware i thought they only go for bubble algae and also let me know what you guys think about get putting a tang a yellow tang in this tank now I know most of you are going to say no don't do it your tank is too small um, but I've seen uh, my, my local fish store have baby yellow tanks very tiny ones um, let me know if you think I, if I can put a, if you think I should put a baby yellow tank in the tank for, just for a time being just to take care of the algae um, if not leave in the comments below I do appreciate it or if you have any other solutions to battling turf algae like I am uh, so thank you guys for watching um, keep following the channel there are more videos coming uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day and happy reefing guys